What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about what you should buy, upgrade, and what skills you should be getting early on in Marvel Spider-Man 2. Now, before I get too far in, just want to thank Insomniac slash PlayStation for providing me a code to this game. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's start with the suit tech. Now, honestly, you can kind of go crazy here. I would just prefer, and the way that I play the game, traversal really isn't needed all that early in the game and you're going to see that again with skills uh, it's definitely good to have and it makes you get places faster and cooler and you know just a little bit more momentum based that's definitely true but I think in terms of what you absolutely need early on you're going to be fighting a lot story missions you fight waves and waves of enemies these enemies are actually quite difficult you're going to want to use your abilities and your gadgets to fight those enemies but I just don't think you need traversal all that early in so one thing I would recommend focus I would get it at least three deep so the first focus is just gained by attacking webbed up enemies second one double focus adds that extra focus bar and the third one is two individual ones once you get past there obviously they just improve and they're going to help but I would say go three deep on focus and probably damage and health actually you can see damage I've maxed out the entire thing uh, I think just doing more damage is pretty necessary and then health I actually kind of waited on health I probably wouldn't though if I was replaying again first one is increasing health by 10 and next one is increasing it by another 10 then you get health on parry and when you perform a perfect dodge I do perfect dodges all the time so that's a big one and then it just keeps going up by there 15 15 so on so on so health I would go at least two early on just so you have a little bit more increased health if you go three you're going to be regenerating it a little bit more so that's definitely important and that's pretty much it when it comes to suit tech obviously I'm still working on it but I think those top three and mainly the top two are probably the most important to have. Moving on to gadgets, this one's very specific, web grabber. Go for the web grabber as quickly as you can and go for maxing it all the way. Actually, you know, this and the web shooters I've maxed all the way so far, but the web grab I use all the time, I use multiple times in the same fights and they get very, very powerful. In fact, the first upgrade for it is pulling in throwables, which is very, very useful. And honestly, you can use this along with the ability abilities of the Spider-Man. So Miles' Venom Punch or his Electricity Shock where it'll zap multiple enemies. Or Peter has an ability called Spider Rush, which we're going to talk about. That is incredibly powerful, but you want to group up enemies. Actually, the way I fight the most in this game is grouping up enemies and then using the abilities of either of the Spider-Men. So Web Grabber, to me, is the most important one to have. Um, Concussion took me actually quite a while to get it. It's good in like a pinch, but I would just go all the way as much as you can for web grabber and do it right away it is easily the thing that I use the most in battles more than actually my abilities and then now we go to skills now skills are kind of tough because they kind of walk you through them there's no necessarily hidden gems Peter if we start just with Peter obviously you go to the right first you get to the spider rush I think again that's very very important to have I would go left after that because if you go right it's the shock one shock one is fine for me again though I like to group them up so and then you know I guess propel forward so spider rush tornado and then even the second one spider rush express webbing you know I'm not saying stop there obviously I've maxed out his right one but those two I would say are very very good and the ones that I use the most miles is kind of difficult for me I would kind of go left I mean look I maxed out the whole top part but really what you want to get to in my opinion is the far bottom left chain lightning power overwhelming and that one to me is really really good in terms of well chain lightning I think is already a very good power again kind of Peter's you know a rush ability but for this it increases it from three to six and so you can chain it and attack multiple multiple enemies with miles so obviously you know to get to that you have to go through you know the first half basically of miles's ability tree again I personally went left and then you know the venom kind of stomp where he punches the ground I think that's powerful I maxed that one you know straight down all the way up but I actually think his chain lightning is the best thing and then when it comes to their shared abilities here's what I would actually say here's the tip for all of their skills 
skills. I would actually hold off on this. I almost felt pressured to do their combined abilities early because I was like, well, I'm going to be using both of them. I don't know which one I'm going to be using the most. I actually think you can wait on a lot of these abilities. I think the better ones actually probably are towards the bottom. So, you know, maybe you want to get there. But look, in the beginning, it's more about just the fluidity of combat. Some of it's literally like traversal based kind of stuff. I, again, as I talked about, yes, it's cool. And yes, you can get places faster. But personally for me, you know, I would actually rather have some of those abilities back, you know, some of the shared abilities, and I'd rather go all in on specifically Miles Peter. You know, you max out, I would say, relatively early because it's waiting for the black suit, right? That's the left side. So, honestly, I would kind of hold off on the shared stuff. I don't know if, honestly, there's any kind of hidden gems there. Uh, probably the, the one that I noticed is maybe the right side of things. There's something called KO Recharge, things that'll basically give you stuff back, right? So if you take some somebody out maybe you'll get like an ability or, or like it'll faster recharge or a gadget will come back faster things like that are definitely nice to have and so maybe that right side of it but again honestly if I had it back I would wait on that and I would just probably max out miles as much as you can obviously the story blocks you from doing certain things uh, and then same thing with Peter I would just go all in there and remember skills is all just the skill points so that's just leveling up the gadgets suit tech and suits those all use similar parts one thing by the way final tip and trick of this video here I actually would just go all in on suit tech and gadgets. I've unlocked every single suit possible at this point in the game for me, 71% for Peter, actually 71% for Miles. So I've done both. But honestly, because they use similar things like tech parts and stuff that you need for suit tech and gadgets, I would actually maybe wait on it because you don't need the suits. But having the increased gadgets, having better damage and health and all that stuff, I actually think that is more important than then unlocking, you know, again, cosmetic suits, even though the suits in this game are freaking awesome. So that's what I would do early, again, in terms of suit tech, in terms of gadgets, skills, that's what I would do. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.